Chris here, fitness minimalist. I'm going to show you how to overhead press a kettlebell. But for the strict press, we want knees fully extended, hips fully extended, rib cage stays down, belly stays tight. Okay, I'm in my rack position. I've got the weight of the bell over top of my elbow. I've got my fist just tucked up under my chin and my armpit staying nice and tight. I'm keeping my lat engaged. I want to first externally rotate just a little bit and then I'm going to do a straight punch right up until that kettlebell is overhead pretty much staying in line as much as possible with my center of mass. At the top position, this post position, I want to make sure that I can rest the kettlebell on my shoulder joint. So this is almost a resting position if I'm keeping my core nice and tight. Some people are going to have an issue with this movement in the in the beginning because of a lack of uh, requisite shoulder range of motion but you want to make sure that you're keeping a little bit of daylight in between your ear and your bicep and the weight of that kettlebell is driving compressing your humerus down into the the ball and socket joint of your shoulder okay so bring it back into that rack position I'm going to actively tighten my lat and pull the kettlebell back down so I don't want to press it up and then just let the kettlebell fall back down and smack me in my shoulder. I want to keep everything engaged, press up, and pull it back into that rack position.